Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Amers. It's Luke Kim, and as I said, there are so many games this month, and it doesn't stop. It's just Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, Saturday, Wednesday, Thursday. There's so many games, and these next few weeks will prove, you know, where we are going to stand. And it's, it's so important these next few games where we're going to be. Um, it doesn't get any easier, um, even though we feel fantastic after the win on Sunday. Um, it's going to be tough. We play Newcastle in third um, after a fantastic win against Manchester United. Uh, puts them on 50 points and they're well, well in there now to get that Champions League place. And what a fantastic season they've had. Eddie Al has done really wonderful things there. They've got loads of leadership. There's loads of passion, um, skill, quality, attacking football. <laughs> Everything as a West Ham fan that I suppose you'd wish for, really. Um but yeah, listen, our performance on Sunday wasn't anything special, but that's not what it's about now. It's about getting points and just getting over the line um, in the next 11 games that we've got left. And we really, you know, ideally we need to try and take a point out of what is going to be a really, really tough game on Wednesday night. Um, obviously, League Cup runners up as well. To add to that, the last three games, like I say, a 2 0 win against Manchester United, which could have been fours or fives. They played fantastically well on Sunday. They beat Forest, they beat Wolves, all good results for us. Um, Almir is their current top scorer, up, but um, I believe he's out at the moment. Wilson and Isaac, we know about Wilson, scored so many times against us, did come on against Manchester United and scored. Isaac looks like a real player. The way he carries the ball. Um, really moves fast with the ball, an absolute you know nightmare for defenders. It's a shame that Skamaka has not you know pushed on and done that. No, no fault of his own, um, but yeah, Isaac is going to be a real, real nightmare. Hope that uh, Gerd is going to have to you know have, again won the games of his life to keep him quiet. And obviously Bruno Gomez coming up against his you know best mate Lucas Paqueta. Um, my mate Sam, who's been on the channel a few times and might be able to get him on. It depends. I know he's on holiday soon, so it might be a bit tough to get him on. Uh, Bruno's been fantastic. You know, as I say, my mate Sam, Newcastle fan, waxes Liverpool about him. You know, passes the ball well, tackles well, intercepts play, turnovers of play. He, he's a real, real handful. Um, Eddie Howe's played West Ham 15 times in his career as a manager. Beating us five times, drawing six and losing four. Obviously, some of those games are for Bournemouth. Um, he's only lost twice to Moyes as a manager. Um, and, yeah, so, again, and both those times, I do believe, are with Newcastle. In terms of their strengths, guys, there's loads. Set pieces, attacking-wise, they're fantastic. Individual skill and creating chances with that. Creating chances with the through ball. Shooting from free kicks. Kieran Trippier, fantastic free kick taker. Defending set pieces, aerial duels, all listed as strengths. Weakne only weaknesses listed on the uh, site that I use is avoiding offsides. Um, the style of players, they try to through ball quite a lot. They play, a, they play, try to play through the middle. They start fast. That's something that West Ham do not do. They press. They can cross the ball a lot, and they like to control the ball in the opponent's half. You know, they pin you in. Um, and we've seen it. They, they do also use the uh, you know the time wasting tactics, all stuff that you know good managers use now. It annoys you when it's against you. Um, but for me, I'm always for that stuff. You know, I, I think it's you know good game management, um, and you know it's something that West Ham should do more of. You know, it, it, all the good teams do it, and there's a reason they do it because it works. Um, I try to encourage it in my youngsters when I do my team in school, you know, do, use the time wasting tactic, boys. You know, you want to win the game. You're not here to please anyone. You're not here to make anyone else happy. Um, use those tactics. Like I say, it's something that I'd like to see West Ham use going forward. It's, it's modern football. As much as, you know, you dislike it against you, it is good tactics when used for you. They usually play the 4-3-3 formation. Nick Pope in goal, fantastic goal. He's had a fantastic season, apart from one little wobble where he lost his head in one of the games. I think it was the Liverpool game. Apart from that, been absolutely fantastic with clean sheets this season. Kieran Trippier at right back. What a leader, what a signing he's been. Shah and Botman, really good centre-back pair. And Botman, you know, becoming a real force in centre-back position. Dan Byrne, the Geordie at left-back. Good, solid player. Midfield at the muck. What's currently playing? Longstaff, Willock and Bruno. Again, will Joe Linton be back? I'm not sure. 
Um, up front, Murphy, Isaac and St. Maxim started against Manchester United, but obviously Wilson could be back for this game as well. Last time we played back in February, it was 1-1. Not a bad result for us at the time, especially up there. Um, and last season at our ground, it was 3-2. So, like I say, it's going to be a tough game. They're going to score goals. Um, and we've got to be able to score, I think, to even get a draw in this game, I think we might have to score two. I think I think they will score at least two past this. I just, it's the way they're playing at the moment. They're going to be full of confidence, like I say, from the back of that Manchester United game, getting the revenge from the League Cup. In terms of us, guys... I've gotten quite confident with the defence. I would put Soufal back in for this game. Uh, purely because I know Kera played well. But <laughs> did he play well? Was it that he wasn't really challenged in this game? I'd put Soufal in, especially if St Maxim's going to be running up against him. I think I'd fancy him more in that defensive style to deal with a St Maxim going forward. Um, obviously, Fabianski's going to play. It just seems that way now. Uh, but he, again, he pulled off some great saves yesterday. Uh, Gerd and Zuma in the middle. Like I say, they've got to deal with Isaac or Wilson or both potentially at some point in the game. So they're going to have to put in a real shift. I think Emerson's been fantastic um, in recent weeks. So he fully deserves his place. Declan Rice has to start. Uh, Paqueta against Bruno is an interesting one. Like I say, two best mates. They both know how each other play. So that's going to be an interesting dynamic in the midfield. He's not going to drop him, um, but I would love to see Sochek dropped and Downs come on. When Downs came on yesterday, on it was about the 64th, 65th minute, just it calmed everything down. You know, three players that can actually pass the ball to each other. Sochek did absolutely nothing in that game, and, it, and it's been two or three games now that he's been absolutely anonymous in games. And, you know, going towards now and the end of the season, this is not what we need. We need people in there that, you know, are delivering consistency, can pass the ball, can move the ball, are winning tackles, um, you know, are trying to keep us up field. As soon as he gets on the ball, he either gives it away or he, he you know, he appears really stiff on the ball and upright, um, you know, and it, it does cost us. And then we're back on a defence and, you know, that does get pull a lot out of you. Um, in terms of forward line, obviously Bowen, I thought we played quite well uh, yesterday. Uh, ben Rama in there as well. And then you've got Ings will probably start. But again, I wouldn't be against Antonio starting this game and then maybe bringing Ings on just again to stretch stretch the line a little bit. This is if Skamaka's not fit, obviously, uh, which it appears he might not be. But yeah, my only change would be, uh, two changes would be Downs for uh, Socek. And I would probably, like I say, bring Sufel for Kara purely if St. Maxim is running down that side. Um, you know, we need... You know, something a bit strong down that side. But again, he, he could, St. Maxim, by all accounts, could run down the other wing. And if against Emerson, uh, he, he does have a knack for changing wings. I'm not sure whether Gordon's back as well for them. Um, he's been out for a little while. But yeah, it's going to be a tough game, guys. A really, really tough game. Like I say, a point would be fantastic. Um, I think, again, it gives you that little bit of breathing space that would um, take us into the Fulham game and Fulham obviously got their suspensions and stuff. So a point would be fantastic. Do I think we'll get it? No. I have a really bad feeling that they're going to really give us a hiding, um, potentially a free one, which won't, wouldn't be great at all. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, what, do you agree with me? Sufau in and Downs in would be the ideal situation. Am I being too generous and too nice to Newcastle? Is there you know, thoughts in their game that you guys have seen watching recently, let me know. Until next time, guys, it's great to be back. Come on, your irons. There's a chance. There's a chance we can get out of this. Let's go.